let's lower down the volume a little bit and we are live hey guys welcome back to this channel and it's good to see you guys again if you're using a macbook it can be air or pro or the 12 inch version and you have a monitor that is attached to this laptop sometimes when you turn it on you may feel that it's a little bit sluggish or laggy meaning to say when you're doing your work um, when you are browsing internet or when you're watching video there is a slight lag when you are moving your mouse or maybe when you're typing a keyboard so this could be the resolution issue and if you go to the uh, display in the preferences and uh, you select the correct resolution and the problem still persists and sometimes after you restart your computer you reattach the monitor again it just feels fine so i've been facing this problem for the past few days and, no, and i don't know what is the root cause to it so i spent some time reading online it could be the the hertz or it could be the settings on the, on the resolution i knew it could be something that around that area but i couldn't find the correct setting for it so after a couple of days of searching reading online i managed to find the solution if you're using a macbook this could be the right video for you if you're using a Windows laptop, I'm not sure how this will benefit you, but if you're facing the same problem, maybe this could give you a little bit of points to get the solution to your Windows laptop. Hopefully, right? So here's the trick. Now in Apple computers, let, let's go over there and I'll show it to you guys live, okay? Let's go. Let me zoom just a little bit further. Now this is system preferences, and then you go to display. Now the moment you're in display, you can see that there's only five, five options, right? There's only five options. Sometimes you select the second option, it's still lagging. If you select the middle one, it's still lagging. And sometimes you select the fourth one, it's still lagging. Sometimes you select this one, it is still lagging. Trick's very simple. In order to get the correct resolution, you need to select the correct ones. But in MacBook, there's more than five options in terms of a resolution. But in order to get this done, it's very simple click back to default display, which is sometimes the one that you don't want because it's too huge, too big, right? And then what you do is to click on scale. But before you click on scale, what you want to do is to press on the option button on your keyboard, this option button over here. So if I press it down, you see the detect display button over here. Now don't press on this button, but what you do is go to scale, hit on scale and voila you can see that there's a lot of resolution over here that you can select. So now what you can do is you have the luxury of selecting one by one of the resolution that you feel is the best for you. So in my case, I'm actually choosing the 3008 times 1692, which I think is the best resolution for me. And when I move this around, there's not much of a lagging. Everything seems normal. All right, we are done with that. So you can see that it only takes you a couple of seconds to get the settings right and to prevent the LCD or the monitor from having this sluggish or lagging feeling. So at the end of the day, it's still the resolution. So if you're using a Windows computer, it might be the resolution that uh, is not correct. But if you're using a MacBook, sometimes you only have five options, like the one that I showed you earlier. So in order to get more options to select the correct one, what you do is you press an option button on the keyboard it's just this button on the keyboard, the option button over here. Sorry, this, this is the one. So you press on this uh, button on the keyboard and then you click on the scale and you have more than 10 options to choose from in terms of resolution. So choose one by one, pick one by one until the one that you felt that is the best for your eyesight and the ones that has zero lag or no sluggishness and that would be the perfect resolution for you and hopefully this could solve the problem that you're facing or if you're facing this kind of problem. So guys, hopefully this video is beneficial for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. And other than, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.